decided to take into social media because I'm so used to this social media life and being real with some Easy. I was hoping that it was Natalie that was gonna fuck it up. What you doing? Social media is the worst thing to, to express yourself on. But one time somebody told me like, if I can't express it here, where can I express it? Because they don't have any friends, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes even telling a friend ain't that good. It ain't good enough. But not only that, people judge you, you know? Um, so these days you damn if you do, damn if you don't to communicate with anybody. Let's just be real. Um, but damn, okay. Stuff like that. Come on, emotional intelligence. Do you hear me? I don't argue with nobody no more. I get. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> you got it, huh? So stop. You got it. First of all, rest in peace to um, George Floyd. Rest in peace to Amaya Arbery. Rest in peace to Breonna Taylor. And rest in peace, people that have endured a um, heinous, heinous death uh from cops i'm not gonna get into the whole racist and the whole um political side of things as a human being that does not like inhumane acts i just think that you know it's fucked up um that we continue to go through this you know black lives matter a hundred percent i am for the people and i am the people you know what i'm saying so on my instagram i have been showing love to black lives matter i went out and protested um and i have done several things as far as i gave out free masks fuck 12 uh you know what i'm saying shit like that uh, i'm trying to do my best and play my part in this terrible ass time you know what i'm saying and rest in peace to everyone that has lost their life. And God forbid anybody, you know, has to endure this. But we all know as black people, it is a possibility for us to deal with it. You get what I'm saying? And in the moment, you don't know how you're going to act. In the moment, you don't know what you're going to do. So I'm not going to do the whole, if you ever get pulled over. No. You know what I'm saying? By any means necessary, protect yourself. I feel that's what we all should do as human beings. Um, especially my black people. Um, and that's just that on that. Black Lives Matter, period. You get what I'm saying? When I turn motherfucking 11, I turn 13 because it's fuck 12, period. That's, that's just that on that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to put this in the beginning because that's the way I should have started this. Um, like I said, rest in peace to everyone that lost their life to police brutality. Fuck 12. And that's just that on that. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick Gino's, and today, I'm thirsty. Hold on. <sighs> today, I have y'all know I've done a long, long, long ass weekend of moving. I am here. I finally got back into my own palace, you know what I'm saying? To do my videos and to just be an adult and, you know, take care of things that I'm supposed to take care of. Shout out to God. Shout out to everyone that helped me. Shout out to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's been a long road. But most importantly, shout out to y'all who stuck by me during my uh, crazy ass, crazy ass times. Yeah, that's yeah, that's about it. That's about it. I appreciate y'all a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially to the ones that didn't judge me. Ooh, love. But anywho, we're not going to focus on that right now. Right now. I've been told that Easy and Natalie made a video and it didn't go too well. You know what I'm saying? Now, I noticed that they unfollowed each other. I did. I noticed it. And, um, you know, I was just like, shit. You know, we all fall out, have a little situation going that you don't want going or whatever. You know, you just never know, right? So I'm just thinking like, shit. They might have fell out. But then I'm like, damn, why they had to fall out? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, why did they fall out before, um, before 
they got to elevate before they got to do anything. I almost feel like they shouldn't have brought it to the public. I'm not even gonna lie. I just really feel like they, they shouldn't have brought it to the public. People already had their assumptions, but sometimes I think it's better to keep people in an assumption area. You know what I'm saying? It's a huge gray area where people feel entitled and they can tell you what the hell is going on in your life and you wrong as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna see what happened. Um, well, I'm gonna see, cause hell, I ain't watched. And that's just that on that. Oh, Why okay. you Hold on, y'all. Let me get it. Why did you guys unfollow each other? Why haven't you guys been hanging around each other? Not too long ago, I was going through a lot of things with our family, and I had made some tweets. I don't know what you want me to say here, and I just need to hear you back. I have to go. What exactly? What? What happened? Yeah, I love the intro, but I honestly don't know if I could copyright it. Sometimes y'all gonna hear that dog barking. We might make this a series with the dog barking. Like, there go the dog barking because he bark a lot. But don't pay him no attention. Easy, gay. Mm -hmm. Having been living under a rocket, not knowing what's going on with this George Floyd shoot. Everything we've been dealing with for years, comment hashtag Black Lives Matter. And I just want to say, you know, we have to take a break from social media because it was just a lot going on in our personal lives. But it's just like, as far as posting, we can't fake content and act like we're super happy and act like, oh, let's do like some challenges and stuff like that when all these real issues are going on in the fucking world, y'all. Okay? Nah, for real. It takes away. That's how. That's why me and Amia haven't been recording because, you know, it's right now. It's pouring down. Me and Amia, uh, I went to her house uh, probably last week and we were attempting to record and y'all, we just could not do it. You know, at a time like this, you just, you have to be, you know, um, sympathetic to what the hell is really going on out here in this world. You know what I'm saying? For real. Um, and to the insensitive motherfuckers that don't get it, fuck you too. You know what I'm saying? It's, I have so much to say, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Okay, so I want to start off by saying that, and with that being said, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I just feel like ever since we kind of came out, like me and Natalie, our story, there's been a lot of drama going on behind the scenes, and it's, it, it's really emotional for me to make this video with the protests and the stuff going on. Um, okay. Along with that, it's just like so many things have, you know, transpired with me and Natalie, and it's kind of just new for us, and there's a lot of things that we aren't showing you guys because we can't pick up a camera 24-7, you know, but... It's like, I want to be truthful. I want to be honest with you guys so you guys know what's going on. You guys have been having questions about, yo, why did you guys unfollow each other? Why haven't you guys been hanging around each other? You know what I'm saying? If you guys noticed in some of the videos, like, a few of them were pre-recorded before all of this stuff was going on and stuff like that. And it's just like, you guys can tell that there's been something going on. And today I'm here to address it. I'm going... I know y'all unfollowed each other. Somebody brought it to my attention and I was just like, well, damn. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna let her finish. Um, talk to Natalie for the first time. Kind of nervous, um, you know, and, and she has some news that she wants to tell you guys. I already know, and it's very heartbreaking. But you know, dealing with our friendship for over three years, it's something that I can't handle. Um, but I just want to, you know, we want to keep you guys updated on what's going on and what's going to happen between me and Natalie. Do y'all know what kind of camera she used? If you do, let me know because I'm about to go back. <laughs> Before I actually, um, you know, head to Natalie's house, I kind of want to sit here and talk about, like, you know, what's been going on with me and then she can discuss, like, what she's been kind of going through. I guess we can talk about it together. But pretty much, if you guys haven't seen or don't know what's going on, between me and her, not too long ago, I, you know, I was going through a lot of things and behind the scenes with, you know, her family. And I had made some tweets, you know, I made some tweets and it was pure selfishness, pure emotions that came up that I was triggered by from the past, you know? And I didn't know how to express that. And I decided to take it to social media because I'm so used to this social media life and being real. Easy. I was hoping that it was Natalie that was going to fuck it up. What you doing? Social media is the worst thing to, to express yourself on. 
But one time somebody told me, like, if I can't express it here, where can I express it? Because they don't have any friends, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes even telling a friend ain't that good. It ain't good enough. But not only that, people judge you, you know? Um, so these days you damn if you do, damn if you don't to communicate with anybody. Let's just be real. Um, but damn, okay. Stuff like that. It's just some things you shouldn't do because right. it will ruin a relationship. Big you fact. know what I'm saying? And I feel like me doing that you was ruined childish. It. You ruined me it. doing that was not being in control of my emotions. And I've been doing so much work, work. on myself. Emotional now. intelligence. Come on, emotional intelligence. Do you hear me? I don't argue with nobody no more. I get. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> you got it. Huh? So stop. You got it. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't argue. I ain't arguing with you. I'm saying I ain't arguing with you at all. So you got it. You won, baby. You got it. Growing and learning how to deal with my emotions. I've been and working on this about a year. I've been preaching about spirituality. No, seven and months. About growth. I took a huge step back. back, and I just want to say I apologize. My actions did cause a reaction, and how Natalie is feeling about certain things, I completely understand, and I have to respect. So, I, I you know, I'm only human, and I'm not going to sit here and justify my actions. I'm not going to sit here and say like, oh, because I'm human, I get to do this. Oh, what? I can't feel certain emotions, and it's just like no. Do something and it's a reaction to it and depending on how the person can handle what you do is it's going to determine you know the, your future together or anybody's you know whether it's friends family anything but so I'm going over to talk to her about it right now and um, like I said there's something that she really needs to tell everybody you know uh, it's, it's something that you know if I wasn't working on myself I feel like I wouldn't be able to handle but Girl, what, is she pregnant? You know, to my young studies, my young studies or whatever, listen, in this game, and I'm not saying Natalie's pregnant. Let me not create that narrative. I don't know what's up with Natalie. All right? Let's make that clear with everybody. I'm just saying, God forbid, if she is pregnant, though, um, if any woman that is in a lesbian relationship pregnant, listen, it ain't shit you could do about it. Like nothing, right? You almost got to decide on if you're going to help her take care of the baby or leave. Because it's nothing you could do. You can't, you can't stop that creation. You know what I'm saying? And um, I know it may sound crazy to say, but, you know, it's unfortunate that that is a huge possibility dealing with a woman. So, you know, I just want y'all young studs to know, don't get mad, don't want to kill yourself, don't want to kill her, don't kill the dude, you know what I'm saying, don't kill the baby, just, you better decide whether you're going to be steady, all right, or you're going to move on, okay? I understand what she has to say and, you know, things that she needs to do, you know, I'm going to head over there right now and take you guys with me and, you know, she, um, it's, been one hell of a roller coaster of emotions, y'all. Especially like not coming out too long ago how I'm in love with this woman. Alright, well I'm just, I'm just gonna go over there and we'll talk about it there and I'll see you when I get there. So my Natalie's clear right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling so many emotions right now. It's like oh my god. There's so many emotions that I feel and certain things because I can't change them. It's just like hard, but it's how you deal with certain things. She ain't really saying? saying like what the fuck she said, what happened. And I already know this a part one. I already know it's gonna be a part one. Damn, no miss you too? That hurt. Yeah, I brought him in the car. I see you brought your suitcase and stuff down. Okay. Alright, let me get your weights on. That's pushing this heavy. 
Lori. Uh, I saw your weights and stuff. Um, do you want to, you know, before everything happens, like, kind of, like, talk and just make sure we're both on the same page, especially as far as communication and where my head's at and where your head's at? Um, I actually, you know, I'm, I need to get on the road because it's a long drive, so I wasn't really, like, planning to talk. I'm just going to leave this up. Where you going? I mean, I just feel like... Can I please just get a conversation? You know, I just need a little bit more clarity and, you know, just making sure that I'm not. Girl, she is aggravated with her. What you, what the hell did you say? If y'all know what she said in that tweet, let me know. Because she is not feeling her right now. Me, I want to go to the beach. You want to go to the beach? Yeah. Well, we can't necessarily go right now because it's a thunderstorm going on. It's, look. Hold on. Look outside. It's raining real bad. Mommy, it's not raining here. It's not raining here. It's raining. It's not raining here. I know. It's thunder in here. We... We're gonna go to the beach soon, okay? I told him it's two weeks, I go. So, so we're going to two weeks. It's just for a day. I'll drive down here so he can go. I'm going with you. What did she do? You know what I'm saying? Because she is not feeling her right now. Like, at all. You know, thinking any other way except for exactly what you tell me. Like, she look mad as hell. Alright. Alright. Okay. Well, I hope you take your stuff upstairs and then we can talk upstairs. No, we can just talk right here. I don't have much time anyway, so we can just talk back and forth. Damn, I can't even go in the crib. Can I still record? Yeah. Sure, we don't have to. hate when I'm trying to talk to somebody and they start playing with other shit. Like I used to get so mad about it. I don't get that mad anymore, but I'm talking to you. I need your undivided attention. Can't even say. I guess that's where I'm controlling comes into play. But I ain't got controlling no more, y'all. I'm working on myself. Okay. Kind of how I feel, but you know, you can kind of reiterate it and you know, kind of tell me so I don't have any misunderstandings or I don't think that there's hope and then there's not or no hope and there is. She is so over it. Just break down what you're feeling. Um, you know, first of all, I just want to say that thank you guys for being supportive, forgiving, um, you know, us some space like there was time. I know a lot of you guys noticed um, certain things that were alarming, like us not following each other and, you know, me as we kind of putting two and two together because um, some of you also noticed the tweet that she made. What was you the know, tweet? I just want to say thank you for not being too intrusive and being patient with kind of what's going on between us. Um, it's really hard, guys, like when you live a public life and you're also really going through stuff to know how okay. to deal with it. That's sometimes having two like I, and I can't say I, I blame Easy for for going to the internet because y'all know how I had my moment. Um, it's just I've learned my lesson, so I guess it's like don't do it again. You know what I'm saying? Just don't do it again. Too many opinions doesn't help. Um, okay. But then also I know that we're trying to have a more open line and stream of communication with you guys so that you really. Well, she still got the ring on. Some type of clarity, some type of 
maybe confidence or me to say something that was gonna make you feel better or soothe the fears that you have, but I don't I don't know what you want me to say to you right now. Girl, yeah, she is over you. I know you wanted to bring my weights in, in hopes that you'd be able to get a little conversation in, but there's nothing that I can say. There's nothing that I want to That's that Sagittarius shit. Let me talk. Let me talk. I'm telling you right now, you know, like, I'm sorry. Like, the only thing that I can tell you right now. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Right, let me talk. Addictive because I have been in this type of shit, done some dumb shit, had to pay the price. That's just what had to happen. Um, but whatever it is you did, you fucked it up. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel so like I can relate. I can relate with you so much on this because I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. But I, I don't know what happened. I want to know. If y'all could let me know, that would be great. Because clearly, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hope everything all right, y'all. I guess I'll see y'all in part two. Let me see if they posted it already. Damn, it's going down out there. It's going down, down out there. <laughs> yeah, that was a week. All right, they haven't posted a new one yet, aside from that one, which was yesterday. So, um, I'm going to wait and see what happened. I got Wi-Fi now. Y'all let me know what y'all want me to react to. Um, I do have another channel called Royal Reacts. I will be doing a lot of videos over there. Please, um, since I am behind, I'm probably going to go back to old videos and watch them. Um, it just kind of depends. But I literally need y'all to list the links up under... Um, up, un up under this video and that's it let me know let's get it